know this video is probably gonna trigger a lot of people, but hear me out. Somebody has to talk about this stuff. What's up, everybody? So in this video, I wanna talk about the law of diminishing returns within the, uh, the audio niche. So pretty much what I mean is there's a point where the more money that you spend, it is so subtle what, the, it, what it'll do uh, for your recordings that it is almost never worth it. So pretty much what I'm talking about, if you were spending more than $300 on a microphone, more than 300, you are absolutely wasting your time and money because you can get microphones that sound the exact same as microphones that cost 3000 plus dollars and it'll be substantially cheaper. And let's say if you have the money to, to buy that expensive microphone, that leaves you with more room to buy other pieces of equipment that will make so much more of a difference than just buying a microphone. So with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. There's a lot to talk about. First off, I'm recording on a Blue Yeti Pro, and as many of you know, this mic has gotten a lot of hate and a lot of positive reviews on it. I personally think it sounds amazing, and I think that it's not the microphone that's making your recordings come out bad. A lot of the times people complain that it sounds kind of tinny and um, the mids are bad and whatnot. It really comes down to where you're tracking your vocals and then also how you're processing them in post. So again, you're listening to this mic right now. I'm going to play, I'm going to use this mic throughout the video just so you guys can get an example of you do not need to spend a lot of money on buying equipment. You can buy affordable gear and still get amazing quality and it, it's very simple i'm going to be making more videos along the way about um, post-processing and how to get more out of your microphone so um, if you haven't already yet subscribe so that you can keep up with that content but i just want to use this microphone throughout the video to express you to you guys that you do not need expensive gear to get quality sound so i'm using a blue yeti pro and a little Motu 2x2, two two, so that's how I'm getting this quality. Anyways, guys, let's let's continue. So if you want the straight to the point, simple and sweet answer, what is the best microphone that you can buy for under $300? Without a doubt, it's a no-brainer, the Rode NT1. If you were to look up the specs on that microphone and compare it to, I'm gonna use Neumann as my example because that is the, I feel like that's just like everybody talks about that company and thinks that they have the greatest microphones and that this is like the end all be all. If you have a Neumann microphone, you've made it. It's really not um, what the Rode NT1, if you were to take the specs of that microphone and then you compared it to something like, let's, let's even just use one of their more cheaper microphones. Let's say the TLM 103. You'd be blown away at the similarities and just how well, it stacks up for it for literally a fraction of the cost. We're talking about a microphone that costs 200 and I think $70 right now, but you can of course buy them used and I always recommend that, especially just make sure that the person selling it is reputable and that the microphone is in good shape. You can get the microphone for a hundred bucks. I've seen them sell for a hundred dollars, no problem. And we're talking about a microphone that could easily be it could easily be sold as a thousand dollars. There's just no doubt about it. It has amazing specs, everything from sensitivity, the frequency response, um, cost is very nice on it. You can get it for very cheap. Um, I think in my opinion, the real big ones is just uh, signal to noise ratio and the frequency response, which if you compare them to the TLM 103, it is so similar. It's mind blowing how similar it is. So I'm telling you right now, you do not need to spend a lot of money on equipment. If you're considering getting a Neumann microphone, I would highly suggest that you do not do that. Buy something like a Rode NT1, which like I said, I believe that is the greatest microphone for under $300. If you don't believe me, look it up yourself. And then take whatever money you would have had leftovers to buy a decent audio interface. I've been recommending the Motu M2 right now. That's been my go-to. I've had everything from a um, Apollo Twin to a Scarlett 2i2, and right now I really like the Motu M2, but that's for another video. I would uh, recommend this one. And then you can buy something like a nice preamp to go with it. Uh, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's, it's insane what you can do with um, the amount of money given, and for some people I've seen where they'll drop, we're talking literally hundreds of dollars, or I mean thousands of dollars on a microphone, and they're running it through like a Scarlett 2i2. So guys, there's you can do so much more with your money than besides buying this one mic that you believe is the end-all be-all. And 
really what it comes down to at the end of the day is is the room treated that you rec- that you're recording in how good is your preamp that you're currently using and then how well can you mix your um your end product how well can you mix the signal that you um, got from your microphone um, post-processing is literally everything and thing with that is people get that confused all the time that they need to do a whole lot with their recording when in reality it's supposed to be very very subtle um again that's another topic for a video but there's more that goes into getting a good sound than just buying very very expensive equipment and this is where the law of diminishing returns comes into play if you were to stack up a rode nt1 and do an a b comparison between that and a tlm let's say TLM 103 again, which is a, I believe is like a $1,200 microphone. If you took a brand new uh, Rode NT1 for 270, took the uh, TLM 103 for 1200, stack these up together, you would be surprised at uh, the difference between the two. It is very, very subtle. And it gets to a point where I believe after $300 of your spending on your microphone, the amount of just improvement that you're going to get out of it is so minimum that it is it's that it just ju- does does not justify spending that price tag so unless you're making a ton of money off of your music right now and i mean a ton of money if you were taking in a lot of profit off of your um music or your voiceovers or um whatever that may be if you're making a massive profit, then sure, go ahead. You know, you can splurge and buy something like that because, I mean, at that point, there's really like, what are you going to do with your money? You know, I mean, you could do other things with it I could think about. But if we're talking strictly for music, I mean, why not? I guess if you're making a huge profit off your music or voiceovers, go ahead, buy the expensive microphone, buy the expensive audio interface, buy the expensive preamps. But if you're just in this as a niche or a hobby type of thing, I would tell you right now that you going out and buying something like that is going to do so little for you. It is just, it's mind blowing. What I can leave you with from this video is that if you just take the time, learn the specs of the equipment that you're looking at, and then you just do a very quick comparison between the two spec wise, and you were to look at, you know, the difference between uh, signal to noise, how sensitive the microphone is, you would be surprised that from under $300, you can get stuff that will sound very, very comparable to something that is $3,000. It's, it's kind of like, it makes you kind of sick thinking about like how expensive some of this equipment is and just how little it does for you. And, um, pretty much guys, I just, I want to, you know, stress this to you, to everyone out here that, Please do not spend that amount of money on equipment like that. It is very, very unnecessary. Again, I use equipment that is sub $300, but I'm getting quality. That sounds better than I've heard people using a um, Neumann microphone in an Apollo interface. And I've been there. I've used a lot of expensive equipment in the past. So, I mean, I have a right to, you know, talk about this. I've used a whole lot of equipment and I'm getting better quality (laughs) right now than I was two, three years ago, um, mainly from lack of knowledge. I didn't know a whole lot when I was first starting out, but I know way more now than I did back then. So um, I just want to leave you guys with this um, this idea that, you know, there is the, the law of diminishing returns is very, very strong within audio and just music equipment. So keep this in mind the next time you go out and make a purchase. Do not spend anywhere over $300 on a microphone. The Rode NT1 is the number one choice um, for a microphone. We're talking about a clean, smooth frequency response and a very low signal to noise ratio. And it's uh, it's sub $300. And then you can put that money towards buying other equipment that's gonna make a big difference. And one of that being, I always stress this, is just room treatment so that you can get a very dead neutral sound out of your signal. So, um, that's something that I actually need to start doing for this current room that I'm in. I have no sound treatment in here except for in my closet where I will track vocals on occasion. So there's a whole lot that you can um, do with that amount of money, you know. So definitely putting that towards other um, pieces is going to serve you a much better 
um, purpose than buying, you know, one expensive piece of equipment, you know. So anyways, guys, I think that's about it. I just want to touch on a little bit about the whole law of diminishing returns. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or even just want to make this a discussion, go ahead and leave that in the comment section and I can get back to you guys and we can talk about this a little bit more in depth. And like I said, there's a whole lot of stuff I mentioned in this video, such as like best microphones and what equipment you could buy instead of buying, for example, that one expensive microphone by Neumann. Um, I'm going to be making other videos on this stuff and trying to talk a little bit more about it. So make sure you're subscribed if you aren't, or at least just, you know, watch out for my channel. Cause I'm going to be posting those videos and helping you guys out, saving you a lot of money and time and effort and just the ability to help you guys get better audio right off the get go instead of having to waste money. Um, so I think that's about it and yeah, make sure you guys just watch out for that and, I will hopefully see you guys soon. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.